Thank you, Dave. Peter's provided you with some background and history and some of the whys that uh, we've been talking about and thinking about as we move forward with this expansion project. Joe has given us some, some of the details, the challenges and opportunities that this project provides. And uh, Dave has uh, really put some flesh on the overall vision. And besides being a great architect, he's also a, a, a great artist. Uh, he's the individual who has been responsible for all the drawings that you've seen today. And uh, we thank him for his uh, attention to detail as we've provided you with uh, information to help make decisions. What I'm gonna cover uh, tonight is what uh, this project means from a member investment standpoint. Uh, go through some of the assumptions we used in arriving at these numbers and then give you a, a, a overview on, on how the voting process itself is going to work. There, uh, there are three separate projects, as you've seen, and each of these has a separate uh, cost that we've projected. And uh, it breaks down, uh, as you can see here, uh, with uh, total numbers uh, for the project as well as what the amounts would be from a, a member standpoint, monthly and annually. And those monthly and annually numbers, the annual numbers, uh, are assuming that we're going to be spreading the, the investment, the cost of this project, as well as interest over a 10-year period. What uh, this means, if all three projects are approved, uh, is that the costs or the investment would be based on your member level. And over a 10-year period, it would be for each of these 10 years, average out to a bronze number of $80, uh, gold and silver would be $340. We've made some assumptions that have come up with these costs and uh, they uh, in, include the fact that we would finance 100% of this project. We have conservatively estimated that interest rates would be 5%, although we feel that the timing to move forward with this project right now provides us an opportunity to actually have interest rates lower than that. And we've also, in coming up with the $4.5 million estimate, factored in uh, inflation factor, contingency, project management, legal, and bank fees. As we've calculated the investment per project there that you see, in addition to the costs up above, we've also added in what we anticipate to be extra operating costs for things like uh, taxes, utilities, insurance, and we also anticipate some startup costs as well as uh, some slowdown costs as we would move forward with the project in terms of a shutdown of some of our amenities and, and uh, the startup to get these back online after construction's completed. We also anticipate that there'll be other in increases in, in operating costs, uh, labor as well. Uh, we are not going forward with this project to make more money. Uh, we anticipate that uh, we will have more revenue, but we obviously have more costs associated with this project as well. And factoring conservatively all of these into uh, a total, we've come up with uh, including interest that um, uh, 80 and $340 numbers. And I can go over uh, more of those details with you uh, if you have specific questions when we finish this. Uh, what I'd like to do uh, uh, is go over briefly the, the voting process. We've engaged a firm vote now to help us with this process. You'll be receiving an online email link next Monday that will explain the voting process and provide you the opportunity to vote online. If you have not been receiving the, the weekly updates for Common Club activities or received emails that have uh, talked about uh, this meeting. Actually, all of you probably did receive the email, otherwise you wouldn't have been here. But uh, there are some that have not, and uh, if you hear of others in your community that have not heard about this project, encourage them to make sure that we have their email address on file here at the Commons Club so we can get the information out. The uh, instructions will also give you the opportunity to vote by phone. There'll be a paper ballot, which uh, will be available on request here in the Enrichment Center. And for those of you that have come without your spouse tonight, it's important to note that there will only be one vote per household. So if you and your spouse uh, uh, each have an email on file, each of you will get a, a, a ballot emailed to you, but only one of you, the, whichever one is first, will be able to actually submit that vote. So. Uh, you'll have to negotiate with your spouse if they're here with you tonight as to who decides to vote. And we would certainly hope that 
that all of you uh, uh, would be in favor of the project uh, if um, uh, when you get your ballot, you'll see that the the member voting will be uh, as such for each of the three projects. The first, the restaurant project, uh, will require a 20% quorum, and of the uh, quorum, we require a, a majority or 50% uh, percent plus one uh, to go forward and approve that project. The restaurant project uh, will be voted on by all three levels of membership uh, in the club, gold, silver, and bronze. The Enrichment Center also requires a 20% quorum and also a majority vote to be approved and will also be voted on by all three membership levels. The last project, the Fitness Center and Spa, because of the dollar amount of that project, our bylaws require that we have a super majority of voters as well as a 67% uh, of uh, approval needed from a quorum of at least 40%. And only the gold and silver members will be voting on the uh, fitness center uh, because only gold and silver members would bear the cost of that project. So uh, in summary, I'd like to uh, um, just state that uh, we feel as, as a board, it's our responsibility to provide you with what we've heard from members as to the needs of the club, not only now and in the future. And you as members are really responsible for listening and uh, making sure you've got the information you need to make an informed decision. And that's part of why we have the session here this evening. If you have additional questions beyond this evening, uh, you can certainly, as Joe mentioned, contact him. We've also set up an email address, which I believe is on page 13 of your brochure. Uh, the email address is a vision for our future at gmail.com, and you can send individual questions there. And you can certainly contact uh, members of uh, the board and the expansion committee if, uh, uh, if you need to. We, um, we feel that the, the, the improvements, the significant improvements that we are presenting to you this evening uh, are, are key to uh, the, keeping our amenities uh, up uh, to date and keeping them competitive with uh, what we feel is not only needed today but in the future. And lastly, I'd just like to thank the other members of the expansion committee that uh, have worked uh, on this project. They, uh, they include uh, Gene Rogers from Spring Run, uh, Maureen Vath from uh, Shadowwood, uh, Lee Cap from uh, Copperleaf, and of course, Joe, our general manager, and his uh, support staff as well have helped us uh, immensely in gathering the information. So I'm going to turn this over to Peter, who will uh, entertain questions and answers. Thanks.